So, ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Frankie Hard Work, and I am super duper back. How y'all feeling today? So, I want to speak on something that's been going around lately, and I want to give my take on the situation. Not the take y'all probably thinking, a whole different take. So, it's been going around about a picture's been going around, a video's been going around. Haven't seen it, but just been hearing a lot about it. Been going around about Lil Fizz, the rapper Lil Fizz from the from, from the group B2K, and um, um Nelly. Nelly as well. So it's pretty much, uh, I guess, uh, Nelly made a mistake and leaked this uh, video out of him pretty much getting fellatio from a, from a young lady or whatever, you know, said in a classy way. And um, also, a picture of, uh, uh, what's my man name, Lil Fizz or whatever. So, you know, since the picture been out, people been going in on him for whatever reason or whatever. And people been going in, making all types of Twitter posts, people's stories, talking about it all over the place so i wanted to ask a question right because like i said i haven't seen the videos or whatever but i'm just seeing a lot of people reactions and stuff like that mainly well mainly of course mainly females you know that i've been seeing that i've been seeing and i wanted to ask y'all a question um is this a form of female uh, uh toxic no toxic toxic femininity femininity right is this a form of toxic femininity femininity <laughs> you understand what i'm trying to say right because like i said there's a situation going on about nelly and Lil fizz or whatever about their situations whatever and i've been seeing women speak on of course what's what you see speaking on it but they've been getting body shamed and i wanted to know like is this a form of, of toxic femininity because I kind of feel as though it is. I mean, call it what you want. I kind of feel as though it is. I, I have to say this because the reason why I'm speaking on this because, you know, what if this was? What if this shoe was on the left foot in the situation? What if this there was this happened to a female where she put out a video or she didn't put it out, but whatever got out to two different females and the people judging what's going on with their body and you know they 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 in a circle. And it was going on there, it looked too big, it looked worn out or whatever. And it was men doing this, posting it up, particular black men, let's just say that, particular black men, post it up, you know what I'm saying, and making Twitter comments, making stories about it, uh, commentating about it. How would people feel about that? That would be a form of toxic uh, masculinity, right? Especially if it was black men doing this. I'm not trying to make it a race thing, but this is what I'm seeing, so I'm speaking on that. So, and the reason why I'm going to further say any more about that, because let's just say, right, let's just say, if Nelly and Lil Fizz was, was weak, was weak minded, I ain't even say weak minded, but you know, couldn't take that, you know, didn't have tough skin, for lack of a better word, let's just say that, they didn't have uh, tough skin, and what if they was to do something with themselves because of the body shaming and stuff like that with, with people? And then, and then, and then now, what about the young men that's feeling some type of way? I know y'all like, yo, he really taking it there. I'm taking it there. I'm taking it there because we got to start, like I said, when certain come to certain things, I'm a devil's advocate when it comes to certain things because if the shoe was on the other foot and this happened to a celebrity, particularly a young celebrity, this was they body shaming and saying all types of stuff, and then that celebrity was to choose to do something to him, then we'd be talking about mental health. You understand? We'll be talking about mental health and we'll be saying, why would they body shame people, this and that, this and that. Now, just the other day, I made a video about um, AJ Johnson, the woman from Baby Boy, the mother of Baby Boy, right? And in that video, I didn't shame her, body shame her, nothing like that. You know, she was in a, a situation with, with, pretty much she was in a threesome, right? Now, in that video, I pretty much say, hey, it is what it is. You know, she spoke on it, she enjoyed it, that's her right. It was a question that I asked, you know, and I left it up to the people to speak on it. But some of the comments, because that video went viral, go check it out. But some of the comments in that in, 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 the, in the section was pretty much, why are you shaming her? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? This was just like two, three days ago. And then this situation happened. And then boom, boom, boom. It, it can't be both ways, you know what I mean? You can't, and the way I'm looking at it, like, you can't sit there and say, oh, 
we gotta stop body shaming women and because if like I said, if it's women, because women as women, I'm pretty sure y'all go through a lot with your body, right? You go through a lot with your body, your insides, your outsides, uh, emotionally, uh, stress, things like that can affect different parts of your body. Not saying the outside, but different parts of your body. So if you was in a sit, if a woman was in a situation like that and this was going on, oh, all hell would break loose. So it's just something to think about. I just want to know, do y'all believe that this is feminine toxic, toxic, uh, toxic femininity? It's hard to say that word. Toxic femininity, right? Right? So do you do you believe that's what this is? Because it's a good question. It's something to talk about. Let me know in the comments how y'all feel about this because we all know if this was something totally different, we'd be out here going hard at the men. Like, how could you do something like that? da 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 da, -da. women's body is this, women's body is sacred. And it is. But at the same time, let's, let's not forget now. We're all humans at the end of the day. So something I wanted to take a talk about. It's your boy Frankie Hard Work. I need y'all to like, comment, subscribe. And I, I definitely need y'all to let you know. Um, I need y'all to ping on this one. And share the videos as well. Because it's something good to talk about. Alright? Follow me on IG. Frankie Hard Work 1. And check out my brand. Hard Work Uni underscore. And... Y'all just take care of yourselves. Just give you a little something to think about, all right? Peace.